Hello and welcome. I'm your Global Mobis News MC, Stefan. And I'm your Global Mobis News MC, Karain. Karain, great to see you. How's March in Korea treating you? It's been warming up a little bit, right? For sure, and I really love this warmer weather. Actually, I thought spring was on its way last month, but then all the snow happened. Right, I was so shocked. That was really crazy. I guess the snow was waist high in some areas of Korea. Waist high? In the spring? <laughs> wow. Right. So anyway, Korean fact of the day. I learned that if the daily average doesn't fall below 5 degrees centigrade, they declare that spring. And actually, if the temperature falls below 5 degrees centigrade any time after that, it's called kotsem chui. So that's actually what's happening right now. Oh, I've actually heard about this before. Isn't the literal meaning something like the frost that's jealous of the flower? Yeah, exactly. So the kotsem chui is basically the cold weather being jealous of the spring flowers. And in general, this is anywhere between February and the start of summer. Wow, how poetic. So I guess in a way, kotsem chui is a sign that spring is coming? Exactly. Well, you know, I'm prone to dabble in poetry every now and then. And you know what else is a sign of spring? It's the cherry blossoms. Oh, right. I can't wait for cherry blossoms season. I think it's by far my favorite season in Korea. Definitely. I think that's the case for a lot of folks. But the traffic is impossible during the annual cherry blossom festival though. I know. I feel like cherry blossom season is the ultimate Korean tradition. I think so. I'm getting ready personally for my annual cherry blossom viewing too. Global Mobis employees, what's it looking like where you are? I hope you're having a beautiful month as well. What do we have in store today? Okay, it looks like a lot to share today. Oh, and the basketball team. I'm very curious about that. Me too. So happy to be the bearer of good news once again. Exactly, that's what we're here for. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Mobis is inviting major clients to the Mobis Winter Driving Experience event in the Winter Proving Grounds in Sweden. They're showing off steering and braking technologies at these grounds where the temperature falls to minus 40 degrees centigrade. But let's hear details directly from our interviewee. Hey, uh, could you please introduce yourself? Annyeong haseyo! Welcome to Sweden! My name is Günther Steinberger. I'm located in Frankfurt, Germany and uh, working in the OE sales department as senior key account manager for the Volkswagen Group. Wow! Welcome, Gwenta! You know, it really looks like quite the winter wonderland over there. I mean, that's really a change of scenery for us. And we're both very excited to hear more about the Sweden Winter Proving Grounds. So, could you please give us a tour? So, what buildings we have else on our winter testing center? So, beside the panel and the entry to the land track, of course, we have one very important building. This is the canteen which very good Korean food. And then here we have the entry to uh, the road to the lake uh, testing site, which we hopefully see this afternoon. And then we have the main building with all the customer uh, meeting rooms, offices and uh, the workshop where we do um, inspections on the cars, where we change tires, etc., where the products are checked and also the tuning will happen. And we see that uh, it's always busy here. So uh, there's a truck uh, bringing or fetching the cars um, for further testing. Wow, so testing mobility technology in such a cold and remote location. That is super impressive. But I'm sure there's a reason for testing under such harsh conditions, right? So winter test is done because of the low friction values we have. Yeah, So it's uh, for tuning of the cars. It's also for capability up to minus 40 degrees. Of course, at present, we are not reaching these temperatures, but it's overall for the setup, uh, for the safety of the cars, to make the car more safer for us all. Oh, of course. It makes sense to carry out these safety tests in case we run into ice or snow while driving. And it looks like Mobis is looking out for safety first and foremost. Hmm, but I am curious now, what do these tests look like? Could you show us a few of them? So, we are now on the land track and I'm sitting with my friend Norbert from Application Engineering Break in the car and uh, we will do now a one test procedure and Norbert will explain uh, the test procedure when I'm filming uh, the, the track. So we are here in Sweden and then we are approaching the Müsplit track where we test the vehicle for stability yeah. but also brake distance on the right hand side icy road, left hand side. Yeah. So. And I would say that was successful, so the car was stable and not breaking out. Yeah. Norbert, thank you very much. Thank you. That is so cool. And I also heard that there's a lake course too. Can you tell us what kind of tests happen there? So here we are on the lake with Lomu, which means ice covered with snow. And here we are also testing stability and also brake distance for the vehicle. And I do a brake apply now, for example, full braking. 
that you can see here, even by full braking eyes, I can steer the vehicle. Great, thank you. So it looks non-spectacular, but uh, this is uh, exactly the test what we are doing, that we see if the car uh, remains stable under low friction conditions. Thank you, Norbert. You're welcome. Hi. Bye-bye. Is it just me or do these tests make you feel alive? <laughs> I would love to see this in person one day. And I heard that the customers were directly involved in the winter testing recently. Can you tell us a bit more about the logic behind the participation? Um, we meet the customer to discuss uh, about the products. So of course they are confidential. I'm not able uh, to show you further details. And who we meet is European car manufacturers or let's say global car manufacturers. They are able to witness our products, uh, our latest products uh, like steer by wire and so on. And uh, usually uh, the approach is that we speak about the uh, possibility of development projects or about preparation of upcoming requests for quote, which we answer. And that's, uh, I think, the main purpose, uh, shortly said, uh, what we do here uh, on the winter test track. Wow. Well. It looks pretty spectacular to me. It sounds like an important opportunity to gain customer loyalty and have some open dialogue too. Can you tell me what were some of the results and customer reactions from this event? So if we make a wrap up uh, what, we, what we had the last days. So six OEMs, six global OEMs were here and 53 people uh, in our meeting. And our feedback uh, was uh, very good. So we received a very good feedback on our products and also on the cars, of course, especially Ionic 5N uh, was definitely uh, something they really had fun with. The feedback what we receive, uh, we will use to optimize the products uh, in a way. So every every customer, of course, has a has a different uh, expectation. And then uh, we we apply uh, the requests the changes, and then next year uh, the customer will come to here again, and then we will have a another testing round. Wow, well, I have a feeling the clients were thrilled and satisfied to experience the technology for themselves at the Mobis Winter Proving Grounds. I really hope these events turn into opportunities for sales too. Well, Gunther, thank you so much for your time. Please take care of yourself in the cold and have a safe flight back to Germany. Great, I hope you had a very good insight of our test facility, what we are doing here and so on. And yeah, I'm ready to go. And I will also now have a little bit fun on the lake to test our equipment. Thank you guys and bye-bye. 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 <laughs> On February 29th, the 2024 Peyton Awards were held at the Malbec R&D Center. Oh, that's right. I know the purpose is to promote creative research, but can you tell me something more about it? Of course. So there are two main types. There are awards for performance patents and attack patents. For the performance type, the award is given out when the mass produced products unit price is reduced or if it serves practical support for customers. This year, products such as curtain airbag cushion and inflator structure, EV battery case and vehicle horn all received this award. Wow. Well, what about the Attack Patent Award? How do you snag one of those? <laughs> well, so let's say our company was the first to apply for a patent, but another company applied for the same one without realizing it's already been applied for. In this case, the first company is under attack, so to speak, from the company applying later. And this year, the award was given to wind direction and strength processing and method using touch and can communication. And the prizes for these were the talk of the town. Let's hear the grand total. Okay, so a total of 134 million won was rewarded. Wow, that's a nice chunk of change. Nothing like a fat wallet to motivate the employees to produce something even better, am I right? Do you know why it's so important to Mobis? You know, Right now, they say that we're in the fourth industrial revolution. To keep up with the global competition, the only option is to ensure that technology is secured by registering global standard patents. Yep, from what I know, this secures technology as their own with an added bonus of receiving royalties when other companies use it. Exactly. And Mobis will continue to apply for new patents and reapply for existing patents, ensuring that they all fit the international standards. Well, here's to continued research and development for Mobis. 
There was an open lab meeting for employees under the supervision of the FTCI design sector. Oh, can you tell us a bit more about this design open labs meeting? Sure. So, in short, it's a meeting to share the direction of the future mobility design based on new technology. This was held on February 22nd at the Mavic R&D Center, along with another seminar in the studio. And what kind of exhibits were held at Open Labs? Well, there were exhibits divided into mobility zone and exterior zone. In the mobility zone, there were interior and GUI designs, as well as mobility concepts and videos. And in the exterior zone, you could check out the grill lighting design, the external face module lace system design, active aero lighting module design, and many more exhibit videos. Everything designed for vehicle interior and exterior? Sounds exciting. I wonder what types of discussions took place at the seminar? Well, the speakers at the seminar discussed CMF trends and visions and directions of ESG too. There were speakers such as Jess Tang of WGSN and Diana Kloster, the managing director of Hyundai Design Collar. Well, sounds like I missed out on quite an event. I heard that the designs this year were especially outstanding. Definitely. And cheers to all the hard work and dedication of the participants this year. How about a round of applause? Congratulations! Pro basketball team Ulsan Hyundai Mobis Phoebus has become the first team in the KBL to achieve 800 wins in the regular league. Wow, that's amazing news. Congratulations on your 800th win. Yeah, congratulations. Well, of course, I'm a KBL expert, but in case there's any global Mobis employees that aren't, could you tell us a bit more about it? Well, of course. So the KBL stands for Korean Basketball League, and it was established on October 22nd, 1996, with its first match on February 1st, 1997. Basically the NBA, but Korean. That's quite a statement, Stefan. The NBA is a little bit bigger, don't you think? My apologies for the poor comparison. My only reason for saying that is that I'm so hopeful for the future of Korean basketball. Well, that I can agree on. I can't wait till the KBL has their pick of their finest basketball players around the world. And as far as the 800th win, I saw that match and what a nail biter up until the last minute. Am I right? Right. And with just 55 seconds on the clock, Mubin Park broke the tie with a three pointer, bringing home the win. It was 98 95 with a successful free throw in the last eight seconds. Wow, really goes to show the grit that's led to the 800th win. I mean, what a comeback. Right, what a comeback for their 800th win. Phoebus' most outstanding record since their first KBL match in 1997. And of course, that record doesn't happen overnight. Exactly, so it's the outcome of the hard work and collaboration between the players, the coach, the staff, and the parent company too. And the team itself is filled with 21 all-star players, including Captain Ham Ji-hoon. Wow, it takes a village. It does, and a solid one at that. Phoebus has earned seven KBL championship titles, with three being consecutive. With the season quickly coming to a close, we really hope that the results continue to be extraordinary. Well, this all sounds very promising. All eyes on you, Phoebus. And that's it for March. We cannot wait to see you next time with even more interesting news next month. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.